Welcome back. It's a happy Friday. It's a beautiful afternoon. Clouds are on the increase though. We've got a nice little flow coming in from the Pacific uh, that is going to keep a steady stream of moisture moving into the desert southwest in the Four Corners region as we shift into this weekend's uh, Saturday unsettled with PM showers and thunderstorms, and that is pretty much going to be the name of the game for the next several consecutive days. So I'm just here to tell you that the morning and early afternoon, that's your friend. That's the time you want to be, you know, out doing a little golf, maybe hiking, doing anything to that degree, because that will certainly be the best time uh, to do those things, and the probability will be lowest for those showers and thunderstorms. Uh, let's talk about what's going on right now. Satellite and radar showing storms building across the uh, areas into the Intermountain West. Uh, we got Salida with a nice little thunderstorm moving into uh, the region there around the Chaffee County areas, the St. Louis Valley, uh, all the way down into Walsenburg, Trinidad. Uh, storms are not quite quite to, to the I-25 corridor just yet, uh, but they will be very soon. As we make our way through the afternoon time frame, uh, we've got a little bit of a technical issue here, so I'm going to step off because Friday 5 p.m. This is definitely not right uh, where we have showers and uh, or a lack of showers and uh, thunderstorms uh, in the region. Uh, we do expect uh, most of our thunderstorm activity to uh, really continue through the afternoon uh, for today. Of course, you'll notice if we zoom in just a little bit closer closer. Uh, some of these storms coming into the San Luis Valley right now. Notice how slow moving these storms are uh, because our upper level winds are so light. Uh, these storms are not going to carry along very quickly, and that could cause a lot of heavy ponding on the roads, uh, things of that nature. Uh, bear with me here for just a few moments because uh, it appears we've got a little bit of a gremlin in the uh, <laughs> Uh, in, in, in our program here. So hang with me for just a second. This is live TV, folks. It happens. I hate to say it happens, but it certainly happens. Now they're giving me a 90 second in my ear. There we go. We've got we've got the data back. So let's travel through time. So here we are at one o'clock. Storms are building in across the region. You'll notice Teller County uh, with uh, storms uh, right across Woodland Park uh, after the one o'clock time frame. And then those storms will continue to really move into parts of Colorado Springs, Glen Eagle, Black Forest and likely just thriving on that afternoon daytime heating as they uh, blossom across parts of Pueblo, uh, eastern sections of Fremont County, uh, areas across La Junta, Walsenburg. Uh, we'll see some of these storms after 4 p.m. this afternoon and then shifting off towards the eastern plains. We go through the overnight hours tonight. We still begin tomorrow with a little bit of sunshine. Here we are stopping the clock at 8 o'clock in the morning and then same scenario after 2 p.m. Storms start to build in across the Pikes Peak region and certainly after 4 p.m. Those storms are right on top of El Paso County. Sunday is going to be very similar. We could have a few morning rounds of rain uh, across western sections of Pueblo County, Pueblo West up into eastern Fremont County, and then a nice little round of thunderstorms by the afternoon time frame. You'll notice that's going to be right after uh, 5 to 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, Saturday and Sunday, just to give you a sneak peek, temperatures are steady in the 80s uh, for both Saturday and Sunday for Colorado Springs. The 4th of July is actually looking just a little bit drier, but storms after 4 p.m. are still going to be likely. I know uh, some of the fireworks celebrations are not exactly in full swing this year, uh, but I do know a few places are still doing fireworks and, uh, you know, usually they don't kick off until about 9 p.m. because of the, uh, you know, sun setting and letting it get dark. Uh, so the good news is most of our storms this weekend and on the 4th of July uh, will kind of collapse after we lose that daytime heating. Uh, so that does mean our likelihood of still having celebrations into the evening uh, should still be. Uh, set to green for go, but a few storms, something you might have to dodge uh, between that 3 and 5 p.m. time frame. Back to you.